Okay, in this lesson, we're going to do some eyebrow plucking. Uh, it's not as painful as it sounds because we're just doing it in Photoshop. So I promise I'm not going to uh, pull out the tweezers and, and pluck your eyebrows. You know, it's really painful when I pluck my own eyebrows, but we don't want to go into that. Anyway, uh, so this image here, everything's already been retouched. So uh, over here in my layers palette, let me just click off the little eyebrow layer that I created so you can see. So that's uh, before without her eyebrows being retouched, and this is after. And you know what, let's just come in closer so we can concentrate on one eyebrow here and you can get a better idea of what's going on. Okay, so that's retouched, and that's before. So, really, the, her eyebrows looked really good because uh, my wife is a makeup artist and she's the one that did the makeup for this image. And actually, she used uh, something called an eyebrow stencil that she actually puts physically over the model. It's just a stencil of an eyebrow that she can then use to go in with an eyebrow pencil and fill in areas and then uh, do the outside of the uh, stencil to, to pluck any stray hairs. So she did that to start with. So the eyebrows, of course, looked really good to start with. And I try to make everything look as good as possible uh, in photography and don't trust Photoshop to take care of everything. But of course, you know you can't you can't do every little detail uh, you know, before you click the shutter. So we're going to just go in and just uh, make them look a little more perfect. So okay, well let me turn that layer off, and I'm going to make a new layer for us to work on. And I'm also going to name that layer eyebrows because I end up with so many layers that I just get too confused if I don't have them named. So let's just name that eyebrows. Okay, so I got a new blank layer, and I made that blank layer just by going down here to the create new layer button down here at the bottom of the layers palette. It looks like a little page uh, with a corner turned up. Okay, so I've got my eyebrow layer selected, and what we're going to use for our stencil for the eyebrow is a uh, custom shape, and I had you load all those custom shapes and uh, everything into the preset manager that was in lesson two for, for loading all the assets that, that, that come with these lessons. So we're going to go down here to the custom shape tool, which in the tool uh, palette here, it looks like the kind of the blobbity uh, gingerbread man right there. That's the custom shape tool. Let me click on that. And before I do anything, I'm going to uh, go up to these three buttons up here and here. You know, maybe I should just uh, uh, zoom in so you can actually see this a little bit better. Don't get motion sick when I do this. Okay. The second button in it's got the little pen tool inside there. Uh, that's for making a path. So that's what we want to do. We want to have that button selected because we're going to be using our custom shape tool to make a path. So let me just back out again. Sorry, don't get don't get motion sick on me. Okay, and actually I already have again. Like I said, I already have these eyebrows loaded, uh, which I showed you at the very beginning in lesson two. Uh, uh, don't they look funny? Uh, I just think these look like little, I don't know, there should be like a pair of glasses and a big nose and mustache underneath each one of these little eyebrow sections. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, go from the, the thumbnail view of these custom shapes to my uh, large list view right there. Let me extend this. Now I'm going to scroll down here and find my eyebrows. Well, not really my eyebrows, but you know what I mean. So I have these um, all labeled to kind of help you out a little bit. And uh, this is a professional model that we're working on. And just so you know, most high fashion uh, professional models, uh, their eyebrows have a fairly high arch to them. So what we're going to do is use the high arch brow. So it's uh, DC's eyebrow one, high arch right. And when I say right and left to these, it refers to the models. Uh, eyebrow, with their right or left, not the camera right or left. Okay, let's click on right. And uh, again, I have my a blank layer over here named eyebrows, and I'm using the custom shape tool, and I've selected my eyebrow, and I have this button selected over here for, to make it a path. And all I'm going to do is just start right over here in this one corner of the eyebrow. I'm going to hold down the shift key and drag and see that'll make actually a proportioned eyebrow. If I don't have the shift key selected, I can make some really weird shapes. Yeah. 
that's that's really a pretty kind of eyebrow right there, don't you think? Uh, no, never mind. Let's uh, do this the right way. Okay, hold down the shift key, drag out this eyebrow. And I'm not trying to make this perfectly match over her brow right at this moment. I'm going to do that in just a just a second here. Once I get the right about the right size, okay, I just let go of my mouse, and I have my shape right there. Uh, and again, it's a path, and we'll deal with that in just a second. Uh, now, because this is a path, you could actually go in and use your pen tool and readjust the points and everything on it to to make it match perfectly over this eyebrow. Uh, but that's just too much work, and I've never been very good with the pen tool, so I'm going to actually just cheat a little bit and just uh, use keyboard shortcut. I'm going to do Command T, of course on the PC it would be Control T, and bring up the free transform box. And then I'm just going to move my eyebrow template right there, and I'm going to right click or control click to bring up these options and I'm going to pick distort. So I'm going to be using free transform distort to distort this path. And what I'm just going to do is make it try to match pulling on these corners here. Just make it overlap her eyebrow as much as possible. Okay, good. And then double click, and there we have our path making a nice little stencil for us to use uh, for, for uh, plucking and penciling. Okay, now I need to make this into a path, so I'm going to go over here to, I'm sorry, I need to make it into a selection, not a path. I'm going to go over here to my paths palette right over here, click on that, and you can see we have something called a work path. Well, right down here, if I click on this little button down here, uh, it's got the little dots in the circle down there. Uh, it says load path as selection. I'm going to click on that. And now our path is now a selection that we can feather and work with a little more naturally. Also, uh, just so you know, if you wanted to, I could just um, command click onto that work path and it would also load it as a selection. Okay, so now I have my selection. Let me go back to uh, my layers palette. And I need to feather a little bit, so let me go up to Select, Modify, Feather. And I'm actually going to feather it about three pixels because I don't want a real hard edge to, to the work that I'm doing to this eyebrow. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is uh, pretend I'm penciling in the brow, filling in any little areas that need to be filled in. So I went over here and I clicked on the Clone tool and I've got my opacity set to 50% because I don't want it to uh, be too dark and look unnatural. And I have this set to aligned and I have sample, current, and below. Okay, let's get in here and do this. Come in a little bit closer to work. I'm gonna make my uh, clone brush a little bit smaller here. And there's not a lot of areas to fill in. But the nice thing is, by having this selection, no matter where I go in here, I can't possibly do anything out here. I can't possibly make her brow show up out there. So let me go over here and fill in this area a little bit. Okay. Go over here. And I'm just sampling from good eyebrow and coloring in any areas that need to be colored in. And that looks pretty good to me. Now I'm just going to go up here to select inverse and I'm inversing the selection and still using the same clone tool. I'm going to go in now and get rid of any of these areas that are spilling out over my marching ants. So let me just go in here real quick. And here's a couple of stray eyebrows, hairs, I'm just going to pluck those real quick. And again, it's painless plucking. Or if you want to, you can say ow, ow, ow as you're plucking. I don't know. Just me. Okay. Cool. 
And I think that looks good. Let's get rid of those marching ants by Command-D or Control-D to deselect. Let's back out a little bit. And look, we have a perfect eyebrow. And if it actually looks too perfect, let me click that button off and on, the little eyeball button. If that looks too perfect to you and too unnatural, just lower the opacity of the layer. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. All right, so let me back out a little further, take a good look. Cool. And there we have a fixed eyebrow. Now just do the other eyebrow exactly the same way and you'll be all set. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it.